Hello everyone and welcome to Fire Emblem The Road to Ruin, a Fire Emblem 7 ROM hack by Prime Fusion. I'm your host Pondon and today we're going to continue on with Interlude 2, Faces of Deceit. So we're sitting back in English class and we're going to be getting into the story. So I gotta say, there have been like, what, nine chapters of gameplay so far? Two of them have been generics, two of them have been, and then two interludes. It's just like a lot of story. Um, which is such a different approach, I think, than like hacks take today. So I can appreciate the differences. But to me, it's like, as nice as the story is, I just care about playing good Fire Emblem first and foremost. Something you won't like at all. Our own taste is joining the fight on access. So this is again another example of telling the player something that they already know. I mean, it's hard to avoid because then it's like, well, how did Russell know? You know, so there's there's no winning, is what I'm saying. What? You can't be serious. We spoke with someone who just got back from our own taste. He said the whole place is gearing up. Horseshit. Uh, that's good. That's being saved. Uh, of all the things that can go wrong, the Holy Land itself is against this. This just don't bode well, not at all. Why? Is Orontes strong? It's not that they're strong. I'm sure, their Valkyries have made a name for themselves. But beyond that, I'd say their forces power is average. Nothing like Tyrans or Axum, that's for sure. The problem is that their word carries weight. There's plenty of spiritual folks out there. If Arontes says we're a bunch of scum, folks might think it's the word of the goddesses. They might have everyone breathing down our necks. Oh no. People being manipulated by religion. What is this, a JRPG? Our next move is risky. I doubt Arontes has set out for combat yet. This might be our chance to press the attack. They'll have to ask Raisin what he thinks. I doubt he'll stomach this news well, though. Just meeting in a field. I love this palette. Orontes and its purple castles. In the teal. Your grace, you summon me and my sick hat. I'm an old lady. Oh, my dear Marveda. Even in battle, Margaila, your beauty shines. Many maid would sacrifice much to be as you. Your praise is without equal, great pontiff. Hi, Valkyrie Marveda. What about the low Valkyrie? Where, where's the low Valkyrie at? Tomorrow you ride to war. Are you prepared? Our preparations are complete. Tomorrow we ride to victory. We shall smite all those who stand defiant against Orontes. Your news gladdens me. If only everyone shared your fierce devotion. Dude, I've never heard anyone use the word gladden, but... I'm going to start. Is it even a real word? But I'm down for it. The four smile down on you this evening. You honor me, Pontiff. Only because you so deserve it. You may go now, Marveda. Get some rest and may the four light your path. Your grace, if I may be so bold. Yes, what is it, child? Forgive my ignorance in asking this. Why are we entering this war? The proof of either side is muddled at best. Base claims born of jealousy and greed. How can we as the Holy Land? How can we choose sides? I suppose to do you owe you an explanation. It's about money. No, oh, no. Let's see. Marveda, the kingdom of Cyberus is not to be trusted. It's very clear to me that they indeed are the ones responsible for the massacre in Mora. This whole nation is now shattered and defeated, yet the culprits continue to roam freely for demand retribution, and we must be the ones to provide it. Do you understand now? Yes, Your Grace. I understand perfectly. Then go, child. Go with the blessings of the four by your leave. Hi, Valkyrie. You have returned. Did you learn anything during your meeting? Our cause is championed by the goddesses, so it has been commanded by Pontiff and Alice. This is all the reason we need to continue on. Let's go to war blindly because of religion. Uh, it's hitting me. Hitting me in hearts places. Uh, go now. We'll get some rest. We ride in the morning. By your command. My lady, you spoke so earnestly, but your eyes betray you. They shone with such great sadness. I will fight, but I cannot believe you told me everything. Something very wrong is happening here. I pray I can find out what it is so quickly. 
Goddesses grant me strength. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, it's the Axum Rangers. King Maravich, our messenger has returned from Orontes. It's just as you said, they've joined the fight on our side. And of course they have Velomar. I'm evil Ben Franklin. I've planned this for years. Everything we will go everything will go according to my design. Still it is good to see all the pieces start to fit together. More is destruction at the hands of Sabaris troops, the dividing rift between the nations of this world, and the Sorontes joining our cause. Yes, the pieces are exactly as they should be. Only one thing remains to be rectified, Valimar. Your failure. <laughs> Oof. Look at that. Look at him pouting, dude. Just look at that pout. He's so mad. He's so disappointed. He's like an he's like an upset dad. Because of your incompetence, we've lost Mora. My apologies, King Maravik. Clearly, the men sent underestimated Severa severely. That much is obvious, Valimar. Painfully obvious. If I may, sire. Proceed, heir. Look at the smirk, General Valimar. And since he thinks Cyberus is no threat, let me remind you that because of them, Perdane is now involved. Not to mention that they've discovered survivors of your attack on Mora. They did so with the aid of some mercenaries, I hear. As I understand it, you ordered those mercenaries dead. Clearly, it becomes senile and fog minded. An ill combination for the Journal of Axum, no? Silence, worm, on that have you chastising me. So some respect. This trash that you see as a threat is laughable at best. They're bumbling fools, nothing more, and I fail to see how a band of fools is a problem. They may have gotten lucky, but that's all it was. Dude, Valimar's just digging himself a hole. Very arrogant. And yet that luck could have been avoided, Valimar. Your foolish carelessness has cost us. Air is just like, let me just be as edgy as possible right now. Why you? Enough. Your bickering is tiresome. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Cyberus is obviously more of a threat than you realize. Rectify the situation at once, Valimar. Now then, I'm retiring to my bedchambers. Do not disturb me. Gotta take off all this armor. Watch your back, worm. You may fool the king, but I see through you. Your words are poison and rubbish. I won't tolerate it anymore. Are you threatening me, Valmar? I'm the king's left hand, his support in all he does. You may be his right hand, but you've grown clumsy. If you enjoy the thought of an early grave, continue on. If not, stay out of my sight. Aw, oh, they're fighting over the king. Many dots. I don't know, man. The edgy sword master guy, generally... Generally the more trustworthy one than the evil generic general. So that was an interlude too. So that was a lot of text. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed another session of English class. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I don't think any of this was long enough that it needed to be an interlude, but I understand why it was. I mean, I guess we did just come out of like a pretty significant turning point in the story, right? Like with this guide in chapter and then with Aronte and then like, with um, the stuff that Vance heard about Orontes going to war. There's like a lot happening in different places. And I will say that even if it is more text heavy and it's like, I would like this to be explored through the game. I'm intrigued. I want to keep going on. So kudos to Prime for that. Um, would I have done it this way? Probably not. But it's not bad. It wasn't that long. You probably could have like tacked this onto a chapter. But now we have about an eight minute video or soon to be nine minutes. <sighs> So hope you guys enjoyed this another session of English class because this is Fire Emblem, The Road to Ruin, Fire Emblem 7 ROM Hack by Prime Fusion. And we're just getting started, boys. We're going to go right into Chapter 8, The March Begins. Let's go. All right, until next time. <laughs>